So welcome to uh, Fly Fishing Hawaii. So today we're picking up Adam and we're gonna basically get down to the uh, quick mission, knock on his door, see who's home. There he is, look at that guy, Adam. So we're going right now and we're going fishing. He said he'd be ready in five minutes, I gave him two. Look, he's ready, he's ready. look at this guy. Right there. Ready. 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 My man. Alright guys, so today we're headed to uh, one of our secret spots about five minutes from our, our homes. I live literally two minutes away from Adam, so you know our work schedule sometimes combined when I'm not doing tours or anything like that, you know, we're out there on our days off fishing. So today we're gonna use a uh, fly fishing method. It works, it's fun, it's challenging, it's got all the elements um, of trying to be an angler. And uh, yeah, it's, stay tuned for the action. And what we'll do today too is we'll go over some of the uh, techniques on how to cast. Uh, give you some pointers uh, before we get out there and see what we can do. The tide's rising. For the last five days, the tide has been horrible, like high tides all day. Um, you kind of want a low tide when you go out there, rising, <coughs> not too fast, but if you can get into about one foot, one and a half foot, yeah, not even one and a half foot, but one foot all day, that's great. Uh, so let's see what we can do today and stay tuned for the action. All right guys, so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to tie the fly onto the leader line. I'm gonna tie a perfection loop, pretty easy. I'm gonna create a loop. So basically right there, you're gonna bend it. Okay, you got a loop. Now you're gonna take your fly, go through the bottom or top of the hook or the hole. Okay, you're gonna take this tag end, bring it around, okay through and you're gonna basically pull out a slack here and you're gonna take it around the entire fly okay I know there's a lot of different line knots to tie but I like this one it works flies are small and you pull the tail in okay but they're not to be kind of small get all the legs and everything else out and Basically, you're gonna work it so it's a small knot right above the fly, just like that. Okay? I use a perfection loop on uh, crab patterns and I'll use uh, the cinch knot on uh, other patterns that I'll strip through the water. So you don't necessarily have to have it fall in a certain um, way but for these i like it to fall in the water properly so i use the perfection loop all right let's get out there <laughs> all right guys so adam and i are headed out to uh, secret spot wailupe go to and basically you see this? Look at this. This is mental. So tide's coming in pretty good. You know, by about, what, 10, 11? Yeah. By about 10, 11, the tide should be at where we want it to be, at about a one. And uh, one foot. So the fish should all be in, and you'll see some action today. Uh, yeah, should be awesome. Fish is coming straight at us now. Adam's getting ready, he's taking line out of his reel. He's gonna lead the fish the best he can. It's, the fly just landed about five feet, uh, five yards away from the fish, maybe 10, pole length, and it's coming up. So as the fish gets closer, what Adam's gonna do is he's gonna strip it in just a little bit to try and entice the fish to take the fly. Hopefully we can get this on, on film. We well, might have to recast. Too short. Idea is to get the fly in front of the fish. Oh, it's coming towards us again. 
There we go, it's coming. He's waiting for it to get close to the fly. The bonefish has to see the fly before it takes it. I'm trying to get that fly right in front of the fish. Yeah, fly didn't, bonefish didn't see it yet. Shit, you're gonna have to get in front of that bad boy. He's on the right. Tricasa at one o'clock at 30 yards. Right there. That's a good cast. There, he's on it, he's on it. He's going. Oh! That thing rushed. That's a classic example of what happens all the time. Fish comes up, rushes it, and if it doesn't see the right action on it, it will take off in the opposite direction. There you go, Adam. Oh, the camera's dead. The other one, they were totally the chest camera. Yeah. This one lasts forever, the other one just dies for all the time. Oh, that's a nice size one. Ah, we fished all the way then. We got ours. They're eating now though. Yeah. I think you're right though. I think that one big school, it was just circling some more. Yeah. They just weren't interested. With the chest mount, I gotta move. Keep my body straight. Bone there, look at that. Crab fly. Yeah. Mmm. There you go, bud. Right there. Right. There's a shit ton of them over here. Must be a small one. I switched to the crab. This must be the popeel. Look on, look on, look on. Is that fit? Is that bones? Fuck, I don't know. They're swimming pretty fast. I don't know, bro. Try cast. Might as well try cast. Fuck, I don't know. Palani is good, though.
Yeah. Must be the papillo. I know, but freaking, there was like, how many bones around oh, this bad boy? Man. Or is this a bone? Oh, it's a bone. Yeah. Small bone. Yeah. Baby one. All the big ones are around it and the small one took it. It's all right, you know? It's like, sometimes, you know, when it's tough, you know, you gotta take whatever you can get. Oh, he's using the rocks. Yeah, there was a ton right here, bro. Yeah. The way it's fighting though, it fights like a papillo almost. Oh yeah, 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 above it. No, 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 above it was a papillo. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he did get chomped. All right, that's... Oh, you know what, throwing that. Is that what that is? Yeah. He got through. Alright, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah. There we go.